So this is my shopping list food for the week. All right, so this is my rotisserie chicken that I use for emergencies. Here's my three stacks of brown. Okay, now this one's gonna be ground sirloin beef patties. I'm gonna try it out, see how it goes. But I got three of these. There is actually, let me see. See, this is what I don't like about it. 85% fat, 80%, 85% lean. So I have to take it with something. This is why I got the pure Irish butter, all right, and my Himalayan salt. I have my sprinkly water. Um, it's flavored. I, I don't know. You know, so far when I check my when I check my ketone strips, um, I'm still in ketone. You know, I'm still I'm still producing ketones. You know, in my ketosis level, and then my bacon, smokery bacon. I got three of these. They're like the two pieces. They're two layers. Look at that. They're really thick, nice and thick and fatty. That's what I need. The fatty. Then I got my beef, my Angus. This is my Angus beef right here. Let me see. It is. 4.7, 4.47 pounds. And I can usually divide this into into four or two, depending on how, how hungry I am uh, during the day. And I got these, um, all right, so these are ribs, uh, rib strips. But the uh, rate, rate, oh my God, rib, short, sh short ribs. All right, now, the reason why I got it, it is because of the fat. I kept seeing this fat on it. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna try it out. So it's gonna be strips. Now um, I did get the water and all that stuff, but I did notice that I did not get any eggs. I'm gonna keep it meat, 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 meat. Uh, chicken, which is gonna be my motivation. That's my case of emergencies. So when I'm out on the road and I need to eat something. I'll stop at the grocery store and I'll buy myself a rotisserie chicken. All right, that usually lasts me like the whole entire day. All right, and my sparkling water, but. Meat, 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 meat. I think I'm gonna need to get some more. I'm gonna eliminate eggs for this week and maybe I can reduce it to something a little bit more like into these. Maybe I can reduce it into this. I just need more, more fatty meats. Um, Michaela Peterson does it, but I think she just eats Kirk steak for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So, all right, let's see how it goes this month with all this food. I don't even think this is enough. A lot of work, a lot of work. Yes. One day I'll get to ride you. You know, I went to work this morning, came home, did the live. Now I gotta go work out. It's been a pretty good week. What this carnivore diet. It's freaking awesome, awesome. All right, so 186 pounds, you know, up and down, up and down, up and down. And, um, you know, I just, just ate, eat, and had a whole bunch of water. All right, so we're gonna be doing a second sim workout again. Um, I'm just gonna be, I'm trying to intensify it even more. All right, so beef, <clears throat> and these are uh, these are actually ribs. 
um, stick with rib sticks, I guess you were calling them. <clears throat> but these are actually ribs. There's a couple of bones on it. Uh, but I'll be eating this and my um, my chicken burgers. I'm sorry, my my sirloin beef burgers. All right, and um, a couple of uh, strips of uh, bacon. That's been my routine. So I switched it all around and eliminated eggs. And so far, it, it's been good. It's been good. Um, my weight has been fluctuating up and down lately. I did have a, a whole bunch of buffalo wings a couple of days ago, but didn't do nothing wrong. They're you know they were from the store, and I had it with blue cheese, but didn't change anything. Um, but now it, it's been it's just been this this greasy greasy stuff. All this yellow that's butter. It tastes so much better with butter. And my um, ice drink, mango, zero sugar. It's got vitamins and antioxidants. But if I read the ingredients in the back, um, after I drank it for a little while, it does not affect my ketone levels. It's still up there, so I can drink it, technically. This looks so good. I just take some of this butter and just put it on top of it. So that little meat right there cost me a little bit of over 300, um, which right right now you know I'm, I'm, it's it's about budget. So if I order, you know, I'm having difficulties here deciding on which direction I should go with the meats and stuff because I want to dedicate myself to one particular meat, but uh, you know it, it has to be affordable. It has to be affordable. So I did the beef, I did the, uh, everything fatty, fatty. So it was the, the, the beef, the burgers, or the burgers or the lean ones, so they really suck. Uh, so that they don't, they don't, they just, they just kind of fill me up, but they, they're not, it's not like the beef and the, and the, and the ribs and strips, which there's fat on them. And again, the fat, but I do put a lot of butter. Um, what's been working out for me is that I take, when I cook the burgers, I cook the burgers with a lot of butter. I just saturate it in butter and stuff. Um, and then, and then, and then the bacon. But I wanted to move on from, I took away all the eggs. And I want to see if I get results by just eating one meat because I'm trying to eat less also. Now, I have noticed that after switching, removing the eggs, then I've been getting less hungry. So, slowly but surely, I'm gonna start eliminating uh, the meat and I'm just gonna stick to just, to just one particular meat. You know, because if, I mean, a, a steak is like, it's like, it's like 40 bucks, you know? And that's a, a steak a day. What, a, a steak in the morning, you, you know, that's like 80 bucks if it's $40 for a steak. Um, so I, I don't know, I don't know. But I wanna move slowly and just eat only when I get hungry. Now, I, again, I haven't noticed that I haven't gotten less hungry by just taking out eggs out the way. There is that drink, I, I still have my ice drink that I have and that little, um, the ice drink and the coffee. All right, I don't know, I, I, I still need my coffee. I'm gonna get off of the ice drink because the ice drink, you know, I usually just drink it to, get, you know, cut back on my cravings, but I don't really, I don't really need it anymore. I just drink it because I, I bought it, so it's there. You know, but I, I don't get any cravings for anything. It's not like I can sit around food or sweets or anything like that, and, and it doesn't affect me at all. But I want to switch over. I want to switch over, and I think, I think it is called the lion, the lion diet. And basically, you just stick to one meat, one particular meat. I want to do it, but again, it's about it's about this. It's about this. You know, I I don't want to be spending like. You know, like six hundred dollars a month. You know, just so I can. You know, it's, the idea is for it to be the carnivore diet is supposed to be for it to be affordable and also doable. So right now I'm at three hundred. I it used to be my shopping used to be four hundred and fifty a month. I've been able to reduce it down to three hundred or a little bit over three hundred, three hundred and thirty somewhere around there. Okay, 
and I, I want to see if I can do, reduce it even more. So look at this, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Just press. Freaking awesome. Awesome, I can't believe I'm loose. I'm still losing weight. All right, so like and subscribe. If you guys got any questions, just see where it goes. Come on, 170, I don't think I'm gonna get there, but let's see where it goes.